guys! In today's video, I share with you exactly what kind of equipment I use to photograph my bride and groom portrait. Hi guys! If we have not met before, my name is Jana Shellman and I'm a wedding photographer in Philadelphia and New Jersey area. And as I have just promised, I'm going to share with you what kind of equipment I'm using to photograph my bride and groom photos. So, bride and groom portraits are probably one of my favorite parts of the day, even though I do love weddings as a whole, but it's just, I feel like it's not as stressful and it's more fun because it's like a, only two of them and I get to see them interact so well. So it's a very good time of the day when I get to create something super beautiful for them. So I will tell you what equipment I'm using during that time. I have two bodies that are Canon 5D Mark III's and I love them very much. And then for 99% of times, chances, <laughs> I will use either my 35, so my Canon 35 1.4 or Canon 50 1.4 for most of the times. There might be a rare occasion where I will use my 70 to 200 to photograph something if the venue is super large or if I see a spot that they would be super far away and then I would have to be far away to get that particular angle that I need or if there is a spot where I really need to get some compression going on so that the background is like right, right up against them. Let's say some the examples would be if I'm photographing in Philadelphia somewhere um, not super close to the downtown, but if I see the skyline, and then obviously that's a beautiful photo to take, or if it's City Hall, if I want that background to be way closer to them, like right behind them, I will use my, my 70 to 200 so that the background is very visible and I will do my aperture a little bit higher, so like eight, eight to seven, whatever the numbers are. I don't remember the <laughs> precise numbers. I just know instead of going shallower, 2.8, I would just go a little bit further so that the details are a little bit more visible. But yes, if I need that background to come closer to my bride and groom, then I would use 70 to 200. Or another case, if it's a beautiful alley of trees, sometimes using uh, 70 to 200 is very fun because all of the trees are stacked up right behind them. It looks very pretty, even though I do love the, the look with the 50 as well, but it's very different from 70 to 200. So if I have it with me, and if it's easy for me to grab it, I would use it too. But for the most part, 35 and 50 are my best and my favorite friends to use during the portrait times. There was time when I loved using 70 to 200 and then I switched the way I interact with people. I try to either give them little instructions or give them little jokes or something where I do get the reaction back from them. And my voice is not that loud that if I would be far away, if I am using my 70 to 200, I would have to be way far away from them to get full body shot. Then I would have to like really yell and that's not the way I can work. And sometimes I feel like being closer to them, it does feel a little bit more intimate and you feel a little bit more vulnerable with each other and you can make a little bit more of emotional connection with each other. And it's very good, not only for personal reasons, but for photography reasons. Your clients can relax and they can let the guard down a little bit and laugh at themselves, at each other, at me. And they can just experience the emotions way better than you are, like yelling at them from 100 yards away. In most of the cases, I will use 35 for full body shots or if I am photographing them sitting down, if I have to be right at them, like super close, right above them, I would use my 35. However, 
I do love the look of 50 and I would choose to use that over anything in most of the cases but again there are limitations with space sometimes and the way I, if I would have a ladder obviously I could climb the ladder and get the same shot with my 50 from above over here rather than um, trying to get the shot of them sitting right in front of me but obviously this is not an option on wedding days wedding days you have to move very fast you have to be super efficient and these two lenses allow me to do just that I use my 50 for most of the full body shots if I have the space and for the cropped photos um, of my brides and grooms and then as I mentioned 35 mostly for full body shots because it allows me to be still close enough to them but still see their beautiful attire and feet and everything so i hope this video was helpful to you in my previous video i talked about what equipment i use to photograph the girls getting ready with the bride and bridesmaids getting ready so if you're curious to check that out i'm going to link it in one of the videos here so one video that youtube thinks that you would be interested in then the other would be that video of what equipment i use for the getting ready and then if you are interested in more of what kind of equipment and lenses I'm using throughout the day subscribe because this is right now what I'm talking about I'm recording a series on what equipment I'm using I'm using for every part of the day and if you're watching this video a little bit later there is a good chance that all of those videos are in the description of this video already because I'm just going to link all of those videos into one playlist and I'm going to put it under each video so that it's nice and easy for you to find I hope this video was helpful. If you have any particular questions or requests or anything like this, leave me a comment below or message me on social media. I would love to tackle your question and help you with your photography. Have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.